to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing another craft kit. It is Sew Your Own Furry Llama Pillow. And I think it's going to turn out adorable because on the back, it looks like this. It's so cute. So let's get inside and see what it can use. Let's look what's on the inside. So right now I'm opening it. Look at this. I don't know what this is. Is it stuffing or is it the fabric? No, the fabric's right here. Oh, it's so soft. Okay, so it comes with this and this. So I'm guessing this is the stuffing for sure. And then this is the outside of the llama. And then this is the back side. Then it comes with needles for sewing comes with a bunch of different colors of string, as you can maybe see. It comes with different pads of felt, and the ears. You can slightly see them. And, what is this? Uh, sequins. Sequins to put on the saddle or the headband. And then it comes with these stencils so you can make the headband and the saddle and all those things. So let's get started. So the first thing in the book that it comes with is to sew a blanket for the llama. So for the blanket, it gives you three pieces of felt, orange, pink, and purple. So I think I'm gonna be doing purple because purple is my favorite color and I want this llama to be about me, not just what it, what's in the box. So. I think um, I'm going to do a um, uh, 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 thing, I forgot what it's called. I think I need my sewing scissors to do this. Okay, I got my sewing scissors to cut this felt pad. So I'm cutting it very close to the edge, so then um, I have a bigger blanket for the llama. So I'm just going right in to cutting. So I've just finished making my shape. It's like a U. I'm gonna move my scissors. So now I get to decorate the blanket. I'm really excited. I would love to decorate this however I want. Guys, the last element to this saddle is sequins. So I already tested out one to see how it looked my way. I think it turned out pretty well. So now I'm going to add the other three sequins. I have officially finished the blanket for the llama, so I am excited to make the face is next. So stitch the face is the next step, so you need this little thingy right here, and this thingy right here, and the eyes. Oh yeah, and thread. <laughs> and more thread. Okay, so I was just reading what you will need for the face, and I found out you can use this stuffing. So I finally get to open this and feel it. So I'm cutting it open right now. 
How does this feel? Oh, it is so soft. It's so soft. It's it's like a cloud. Actually, I've never felt a cloud, so I wouldn't know. It's so soft. Oh my gosh. It's so soft. It's amazing. But you just need a bit, so you don't need too much. Like this much, maybe? I don't know. Let's get into sewing your face. For the face, you will use this black thread to embroider the mouth on. So, let me get my thread all ready, and let's get started. So this thread isn't very good because this is what I call evil twins. It's where the thread separates and makes all these tiny threads so it's either harder to thread the needle or just plain old annoying. But I'm going to work with it. I'm not going to use any of my materials except my scissors, my handy scissors. And then I will get back into sewing. In the t last time lapse, if you saw that black blur, that was my cat. She wandered up onto the table and decided to be fun to walk right in front of my camera. So yeah, that's that was that that's what that was. If you were wondering, so let's get back to sewing. Now I'm going to be stitching the mouthpiece onto the actual face. Then I'll add the eyes, and then its face is done. And then I just have to sew the whole llama. <laughs> so right now I'm trying to get all my thread ready. And I'm going to get sewing. When I was sewing, I just realized that I put on the face upside down, and I didn't notice because it looks like they have no difference of upside down and regular. <laughs> so I totally forgot that I had to put it on the other way. So <laughs> that's one little mistake I've already made. Let's keep on sewing anyway. So the next step is to create the two ears. So first you'll need the ears, and we'll need the white embroidery floss, and we'll need the felt ears, a chopstick. I don't think you need a chopstick, you can use your hands, but, um, yeah. Safety pins, which are optional, I don't think I need those because I am an experienced sewer, so 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 sewer so i do not need all of this stuff and guys i did end up using my own thread because there was no black or brown thread and it looked terrible with this face it looks better now because i redid it so i'm going to get into making the two ears so let's get started on that the first step is to place one fur ear and one felt ear right sides together. So the fur is on the inside. So it's on the side that does not have the fuzziness. So place one fur ear and one felt ear right sides together. So the fur is on the inside. Pin the pieces together if you'd like. I will not do that because I do not need to. So forget about the straight edge of the ear. You won't see that part. Instead, sew all the way around the tall part of the ear with the back stitch, page 10. Use two strands of white floss held together. Try to tuck the fur in. At, wait, yeah, turn, tuck, uh, tuck in the fur as you stitch. Okay, so I'm going to get started on that. I'm going to put you in time lapse.
So guys, I have just finished the ears to the llama. They're adorable. They're so soft and fuzzy like the llama body. And speaking of the llama body, now I'm going to get this llama all together. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to finish it. I, I'm excited. I've been working on this for like three days, but I haven't been showing that on camera. So the next step is lay the for the front furry body face up on your workspace. Lay ears over the face so the bottoms unsewn ends are pointing up just past the top of the llama's head. Place the blanket so the top edge sits on the llama's back. This looks funny now, but it will make sense in step 19. Why do I have to put them upside down? That's my one question. Why upside down? Um, oh yeah, and this is my drama llama face. So I'm excited to attach this, my little drama llama. So put the ears over this. Um, this will make sense, okay? So I'm gonna get into sewing now. Right now I'm going to be safely pinning the ears onto the head because that's just how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so. so I've just pinned the blanket, the ears, and now I'm ready to add the back. And so I'm gonna do that backwards and then it looks like it's inside out almost like this because um that's just how you sew and that's how the book said so i'm just gonna do that now this is the big reveal so right now i'm taking out the pins and here we go and i'm gonna flip it around and see how it looks Oh, sorry, it's taking me a while to get these pins out. Okay, that's ready. Set. <laughs> I need to do this in time. Now I'm going to get to the accessories. Time to stuff. In all of these pictures, there's at least one thing that has red felt in the picture, even though it doesn't come with any red felt. Yeah, it's a mystery. So for the accessories, I'm doing a flower crown, just because I want to. And I think it's gonna turn out adorable. I've finished cutting out all of my flowers for my flower crown, and now I'm gonna get to sewing them on. Guys, it is finally done. I've been keeping it a secret from you guys because I didn't wanna show you until it's finally done. But here it is. It's my little llama. It's called my drama llama. My adorable drama llama. And then the back is just like a tropical print. And I love it so much. Um, yeah. So, let's talk about the kit. Um, sometimes the directions weren't very clear. But otherwise, it was a good kit. Um, I think the age group for this would be about, like, maybe 9 through and up. I don't know. Um, it was pretty difficult, and I did have to use my own thread sometimes because it did run out really fast. Um, yeah, it was a really nice kit, and it, you do end up with an adorable little llama, so I think it's worth it. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button. Um, I hope you guys will check out my other videos and keep watching. So I'll see you guys again next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.